Hey guys, welcome to another speed build. Um, this is going to be just a simple little starter home. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. Um, just because I wanted to have, you know, something for my Sims to move into um, when they first start the game. And um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh, this one actually ends up being a just a one bedroom, uh, one bathroom, small little house. Um, it's perfect for a couple or someone who's on their own, but not really for anybody else to be there. It's a little small. Um, it does have a kitchen and a living room and a study, uh, but they're all in one room. So you do have like a like a diverse um, amount of things you can do here in this small space, but uh, it's not um, not very big, and it, I think it would be very easy to maintain and take care of um, as a as a sim parent, I guess would be the term. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I didn't base this off anything. I know that I usually base my builds off of something specific but this one is just out of my head and I always feel like the ones that come out of my head never look as good as I think they do. I'm not that great of a builder but I'm working on it and I'm trying to get better and I think this turned out okay. Uh, I really like the um, wall color from the dyno pack, the exposed cement brick wall that I just put on the front there. I didn't limit myself to any packs in this build, but I do have some builds that are coming out that I do limit myself on on the packs that I use. Um, I know that not everyone has every pack like I do, um, so I make sure to do some base game uploads, and if you want, you can check those out. Uh, there was room for um, end tables in this bedroom, so I decided to go with um, the shelf over the bed and I thought it turned out pretty good. Uh, the, I do end up putting a whole bunch of things on there just to make it like it lived in. And this whole room has like a, like a green, like a green colored theme to it and it, it's very green. Um, luckily I don't put green all over the place. I do incorporate though on the wall and that one wall as a, as like a focus wall or, or a, I don't know, just the one wall where it's different than all the other walls. There's a term for it, I can't think of it at the top of my head. Um, and uh, in order to get the lamps up on the shelf here, I used a cheat. Um, if you hold, or if you do bb.moveobjects on and use the nine or zero key on the key bar, not the key, uh, the number key bar, not the keypad, number pad. Um, you can get the lamps to move up and down and that works for a lot of things but not everything um, and then also moving it to a good place on the shelf would be holding the alt key um, <clears throat> you can move things not within the grid uh, if you hold that button and I actually recently found out with um, some Sims 3 play playing that I was doing or just messing around on Sims 3 I found out that you could do that as well holding down the alt key and it blew my mind because <laughs> I've been playing Sims 3 for years and I never knew that I just happened to go back to playing Sims 3 the other day and uh, pushing the alt key just to see what would happen and it worked and I was I was so happy <laughs> uh, so yeah this room is really small it doesn't really have a whole lot of room for much other than a much more other than a queen size bed but I do get a bookshelf in there, or not a bookshelf, excuse me, a dresser in there. Because Sims do need those to change their appearance. You can also use a mirror, but I like having dressers. It makes it more, more realistic. Uh, but if you want to put more stuff in there and move it around, feel free. Um, all of my builds are there for your own creative freedom. Just make sure you credit me if you put it on the gallery. Um, the bathroom... Turns out pretty good, and I wanted to thank the person who downloaded my uh, Europe build there. Thank you. 
for that. <clears throat> a lot of people have actually downloaded that build. Uh, build. Um, I, I, this is the bathroom, and I like to include some of the clutter items, like the towels and the paper, toilet paper, and, and I couldn't figure out how to get the curtain, I like the towel plus a curtain there, and I realized, well, the tub shower thing has a towel on it, so I could probably just not include a towel, so I think I take it away soon. This house is under 20,000 simoleons, I believe, so it is a good beginning house. Um, I know I said that it is a base starter, which it is. Uh, everything in here is from the base game except the cabinets. I accidentally used the used cabinets instead of the not used cabinets from um, City Living. And so those will disappear when you download this, uh, which is fine. You could just put in uh, what you want. So, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I was doing really good, and then I messed up, but it's all good. So this is the living room slash study slash, what else did I call it? Kitchen? Yeah. Um, as you can see, it is very, 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 very small, and we actually do fit a desk and a computer and a TV and a sofa in here. Um, well, I, the desk isn't really a desk. I guess I should just say it's a... A table with a computer on it um, but yeah it I was trying to put in an actual desk here and that was me trying to make sure that I used the proper fridge I don't know why I didn't check the cabinets oh well <clears throat> so I had to fit in a regular sized desk but it wasn't fitting to where the way I want oh I guess I don't put in that so if I put in a recliner oops uh, I thought I put it in a sofa Anyway, um, so that is going to be where the TV sits, I believe. And I actually moved this room around a lot trying to figure out the best configuration for it. And this is not what it's going to look like in the final uh, fit. Um, I love using the, holding the alt key and being able to rotate the TVs and, and it, really anything in and of the grid. Um, that is only possible in The Sims 4 if you are using the Sims 3 uh, camera view. So you, if you've been using the Sims 4 camera view and you want to be able to independently rotate things around uh, at any angle, you'll have to get used to doing the Sims 3 camera, which is actually something that I had to do. I hadn't played Sims 3 in two or so years before I got Sims 4, and so when I downloaded Sims 4, I just got used to the Sims 4 camera. Like, it seemed to be the right thing. And then I went to using the Sims 3 camera because I wanted to use the uh, rotating independently of the grid. And I, it took me a long time to get reused to it. And sucked but I'm better now <laughs> sometimes I'll make a mistake still but I'm getting better uh, let's see uh, this time I actually remember to put in the mailbox um, good. so we're getting close to done here um, I think I just changed or add I, I add a little bit of greenery um, to the outside I just put in some hedges because it needed some it needed some inner entertaining thing to look at I guess or something different to look at than just besides the house and I put in just the simple I think oh wait yeah I do the box hedges which I think are super cute and I'm kind of disappointed that Sims 4 doesn't do the thing where they overgrow which was always fun to take care of and then I add in some lot aspects and then I upload it to the gallery so don't forget to like comment subscribe and share uh, so I can build my audience and I will speak to you guys soon